almost 600 years ago, it was seven and if a day that a village was built, which you may know by the name of Lidice. All on the fair Danubian plain, rich in cattle and rich in grain in far Bohemia. Now, all of the villagers worked as one to build him a village to sit in the sun in far Bohemia, as long as the Danube River should run. And they named it Lidice. They built them a church and they built them a mill, all on the fair Danubian plain, for to shrive their souls and to grind their grain, to wash their spirits of sin and stain, and to feed them wholesomely. And close together, like swallows' nests, they built their houses on the low crests of the banks of the river that turned the mill. And each man helped his neighbor to lay the stones of his house and to lift its beams till, strong in its timbers and tight in its seams, the village arose called Lead it say. As we forgive those who trespass against us, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil forever and ever. Amen. 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 And someday, our Father, give us checks back our freedom. Rupert, we Czechs lived a long time before without freedom, and we are still a nation. We are peasants. We plow, we sow. We have patience to wait for the harvest, even when it's a bitter crop. Where's your Miller? I heard her get up early and leave the house. You know, Jan, sometimes she can't sleep and cries to herself all night. No, I'm not hungry. Jan. I'm going out to harness the horses. Take care of the cows, Rupert. Lidice. We're 15 miles west of Prague. You're next, Barbara. I'm all set, sir. Open door. Be careful. Don't trust anyone. I know my own people. See that town? I was born there. Oh. Nice to be home again. Good luck. So long. It is, it is paining. Your chicks are always complaining. Get back in line. <laughs> The new German mayor lives in their house now. I see. They took your father and mother to a concentration camp because you went to England. I had to go. And where's Yarmila? She's not here. Where is she? Let her alone, Carl. Do you want her sent to a concentration camp, too? I'm sorry, Mother Hanka. I just wanted to see her. Shh. 
Here's the milk, Mother Hanka. Go feed the chickens. Quick. Quick. Hurry, Carl, before someone sees you. It's getting lighter. All right, I'll go. Carl, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. But I'm afraid for you, Miller. For all of us. For you, too. I understand, Mother Hanka. about you standing here, waiting for me. Did anyone in town see you? Rupert? Your mother? I mean, any Germans. The Gestapo? Well, hardly. Dangerous here now. They're everywhere. Don't let them find you. You'll be safe in the cave. The cave? Our cave. Remember when we were kids and we used to play pirates? <laughs> you made me walk the plank. And you broke your leg. I was a brute. What's the matter, darling? You haven't come back to stay, have you? I'm leaving as soon as my work is done. Your work? Six of us were dropped from a plane over different parts of the country. Bring a message of hope for our people, Yamila. Hope? I've forgotten there was such a word. You don't know how things are with us, Carol. We're nothing but slaves working for them. They won't let me teach anymore. Only German children can go to school. What was that? Only a bird in the trees. Every night when you were away, I prayed to have you back, but now I... Now I'm here. I wish you hadn't come. Carol, I wish you stayed in England where you'd be safe. You're in great danger. You must go today, now. I'll be careful, darling. But I have a job to do, and it must be done. But if they catch you... Oh, Carol, what's going to become of us? Remember Father St. Lennox's words. Patience, children. Patience. You mustn't cry, your mother. None of us must cry. We must stand erect with our eyes to the sun, courage in our hearts. Smile, your mother. Just one smile.
muck, you old rascal. Well, I only expected to bag a few pheasants this morning. And look at the rare bird that I caught. So Mr. Carl Weber is back. A most sought-after personality. Haven't a Nazi shot you yet? Oh, I'm strictly a non-political character. Funny thing, only yesterday I talked to Herr Bauer. Bauer? Yeah, that's the German mayor. He wanted some game. Oh. Said he'd pay well. You're pretty friendly with the Nazis, aren't you? <laughs> They're not looking for me. I'm much too small a fellow to be noticed in great times like these. Why don't you eat breakfast with your friends, the Nazis? Oh, this is all right, thank you. Uh, what do you figure they'd give for you? Only about 300 crowns. <clears throat> you ought to be worth five. Is that so? Yeah, I could get a good milk cow for 500 crowns. Nasda! I didn't know a cow gave that kind of milk. <clears throat> You'd be a great prize for the Gestapo. You may haven't arrested anybody in three whole days. Jan Bernal, farm worker, age 20, Kladno. No. We need farmers, especially young ones. Proceed. Anton Bartonek, miner, age 35, Lidice. Wait a minute. Bartonek? Barton? Didn't you have a report on that fellow? Whom did you put in charge of Lidice? Mayor Bauer. Oh, yes, Mayor Power. He reported this fellow Bartonek does too much talking. We don't need to go any further. The charge will be sabotage. Yes, sir. I will have him arrested at once, sir. No. Not at the mine. There might be some trouble. Pick him up at this house tonight. Yes, sir. Don't forget to inform Mayor Power. Hi, later. Bartonek, minor? Yes. What is it, Anton? You're under arrest. What for? You're accused of sabotage. Our Fuhrer has good ears. He even knows what goes on underground. He'd better get used to it. What? He doesn't dream what's in store for him. For all of you! Ah! Ah! You? Well, what's the bad news, Nepomuk? Oh, I don't know if it's so bad. Maybe it's good. Someone wants to see you at dusk and Black Hills at the cave. Yeah, well, who wants to see me? Well, it uh, could be the storekeeper. Was that? Yeah, could be. I think it was. Oh, Nepomuk. Would you like to buy a bottle of ink? Ink? I never drank any. Well, I'll try anything once. <sighs> Only I haven't any money. That's no news. Uh, but I have something better. What? A message. A message? Be at the cave on Black Hills at dusk. Yannick told me to tell you. I told you? Oh. Well, didn't you tell him? Tell him what? Well, it's a very important meeting. You both better be there. Oh, don't believe the old fool. 
Oh. So you're going to call the richest man in town an old fool, Jan Hanker. Hanker? Hanker? Yeah. We'll be there, of course. Oh, well, that's good. two hours, and I'm a man of 50, although I don't look it. Let's make believe your looks brought you up, and your age is going to take you down. You got us here by a trick, Colonel Barber. You didn't expect me to announce my arrival in the newspapers, did you? It would have been just as safe. I don't expect safety, Jan Hunker. There's no such thing in the world today. Germans are everywhere. You've placed us all in danger, Carl Barber. Jan Hunker's right. Why did you send for us? I bring a message to you men of Lidete, from the outside world. If they catch you, they will shoot you as a spy. And us with him. That's right. Let's go home. Wait. What is your message? Beyond the borders of our country, in England, and far off America, millions of men are leaving their work in factories and on the farms to fight those who've made slaves of our people. They've sworn to destroy Nazism and liberate all the oppressed peoples of Europe. They ask you to help them. How can we help them? Do you expect us to fight them barehanded? They have machine guns. There are other ways to help. How? Sabotage. Sabotage? They've warned us about that, haven't they? For every act that's committed, Carl, 20 innocent men will have to die. That's what they said. You must take that chance. Or would you rather go on living as slaves? No. We'd like to help in some way, but we're only a handful. At this moment, throughout Czechoslovakia, from Bratislava to Prague to Liberec to the north, other men are speaking to their countrymen as I'm speaking to you now, urging them to organize into a powerful underground movement. Others? Yes. A leader will be selected from each group. They'll meet at Prague to make plans. This is dangerous business. What isn't dangerous business today? Yannick, you work in the mines. You can organize the miners. And you, Bressov, you can speak to the men in the munitions factories at Kladno. And you? I'll get the word to the farmers. Wait, men. Don't listen to Barbara. He'll get us all into trouble. No one hates the Nazis more than I do. But we must think of our families. Yes, men, think of your families. Think of your fathers, sons, and brothers who've been murdered. Think of your wives, sweethearts, and sisters who've been despoiled. Yes, think of them and act. You men have known me for years. You know I'm your friend. That's why I've always advised patience. Heydrich and his Gestapo have murdered thousands of Czechs. And they'll murder the rest of us, too, if we give them a chance. Please go back to your homes and think things over before you do anything rash. Jan is right. Yeah. I'd better speak to my wife first. I think it's time to go. I think so, too. Listen, Carlo, you go back to England. We can take care of ourselves. Good luck, Carl. Come along, man. Let's go. Jan Hocker. Yes? Dead men can't avenge themselves. Last night, they dragged Barknik out of his house. Are you going to wait till they drag you all out one by one? I'll speak to the mayor about Botnik. Speak to him. You think words will stop the Nazis? Good night, Carl. I'm sorry, Carl. Good night. You didn't do very well, my friend. Yes, you did, Carol. You're Miller. Well, you have one follower. Too bad the others weren't all women. I heard father tell mother about the meeting, so I came up the back path and listened. I'm proud of you, Carol, and I want to help. There must be something I can do, anything. Now, this is a man's game, young mother. Those men don't seem to think so. Your father has great influence with them. They trust him. You're not going to give up, are you? No. They have to listen to me. They have to. I'll go to their homes and speak to them one by one. They must listen to me. I'm sorry for what I said this morning. I don't wish you were in England. I'm glad you're back. You've given me strength and hope and... Have you been paying Mayor Bauer a social call? Oh, no, nothing like that. I just delivered a pheasant. 
that Nepomuk. I don't trust him. Come along, Maria. Mayor Bauer, I don't often bother you with these petitions. You are a dangerous man, Hunter. Trying to interfere with the power of the law. I know it is your power and your law. But our people must believe there is some justice left. I do my best with them. I know. You keep them quiet. Isn't that what you want? Quiet in Lidica? There must be law and order. German law, German order. Anka, you could go far if you were a Nazi. People look up to you. I'm a Czech. Then I'm afraid there's nothing I can do in this matter. Good day, Anka. Please, Mayor Bauer. Who will feed my children? They'll starve. Maria. Your husband should have thought of that before. German trains need coal. Our housewives need it to cook our modest meals. Um, there's a letter. It's from Fritz. He and Hans are coming home on furlough next week. Magda, don't interrupt official business. Hanka, I will do what I can for you. The people in the village feel very strongly about this case, Herr Bauer. I will do what I can. Maybe you could phone Prague, Herman. I think it would help a great deal if you phoned Prague, as Mrs. Bauer suggests. I'll do my best. Good day, Anka. And you think Bartonek will be home tonight? Tonight, yes. Good day, Anka. I am very grateful. Thank you, Mayor Bauer. Thank you, Mrs. Bauer. Oh, that's all right. So, our boys are coming home. That poor woman. I'm so glad you are going to phone Prague, Herman. Phone Prague? Are you crazy? But you promised. <laughs> Look, Herman, this is such a fine day for us. Maybe if you phone, it would bring our boys luck. I'm not going to stick my neck out for those checks. <laughs> oh, good afternoon, Hunker. Good afternoon. How are you, Mrs. Bartonet? Mr. Hunker spoke to the mayor of Aranton. Yes, I think he'll be home tonight. Oh, I'm so glad. Well, here's the bus. I'll be waiting for you. Is Clara still going to the university? She graduates next year. She wants to be a teacher, like Yoya Miller. She's so pretty, Yannick. And smart, too. <laughs> Start today, Liman. Seventy-one, Your Excellency. Have a rubber stamp made. You have to sign them yourself. Don't be bashful. The more you sign, the better for us. Hello? The right protector? Yes. Yes. What's that? All right, all right. You know what to do. Another ammunition train blown up. This must stop. I know what's wrong. They've been shooting them after they commit sabotage. You must catch them before. Get the organizers. The intellectuals, they are the ones. They'll teach them. Intellect is poison. Inevitably, pressure creates its own counter-pressure. Its very existence fertilizes the seeds of its eventual annihilation. Chair, focus on. Please continue. Oh. My lecture today is on the phenomenon 
of pressure as conceived by the philosophers of the 17th century. Very interesting. Please proceed. Oh. Well, one might argue that sufficient pressure would be able to destroy its own counter-pressure. But this is not necessarily true. Force and violence destroy only bodies, never the essence of the opposing force. I presume you refer to metaphysical matters, not to political events. Philosophy covers the entire field of life. A wise professor of philosophy would confine himself to the realms of the abstract. May I please take your place? You intellectuals waste your time in the political field. Take, for example, that famous professor, Woodrow Wilson, who midwife the birth of the Czechoslovakian Republic, a very short-lived progeny of the intellect. He also christened the League of Nations, another intellectual concept, predestined to perish before the new German order. That is by the work of another brilliant professor, your late President Masaryk. Get back! Failed to Nobody survive. Nobody's allowed to leave. Intelligence is a great thing, backed up by force. Don't you realize this, my dear students? I look forward to your complete cooperation in the project of mine. As your protector, I feel it is my duty to offer you the necessary counterbalance for intellect in the stimulating climate of bombs and shells. I ask you to form a labor legion for the Russian front. All those in favor, please raise their hands. Even one. What about you? I'm waiting. Come on. That's very nice. Be proud of it. Nothing, Miller. Apparently, you don't appreciate my offer. Perhaps your educations will progress better in the concentration camp. Don't anyone move. I'm absent-minded today. I had forgot the ladies entirely. Are you afraid, little lady? No. I'm not afraid. Right. Naturally, I am not sending ladies to concentration camp. They will go to the Russian front instead of the men. Not, of course, to the trenches. No, lovely one, I would never think of that. A pretty girl like you can serve so much better entertaining our courageous German soldiers. No! Sit down! Mueller, that's no way to treat a lady. Don't anyone move. <laughs> Seat, please. Anna Parsek, age 17. So, so, next one. Elisa Chermak, age 16. Not bad. Rather tall. Except the glasses. What do you need them for, little one? But I need them for reading. Please, please don't touch me. <laughs> there, you see, Mira. Nothing but misled daughters of Eve stuffing their little heads with the philosophy of the 16th century, or was it the 17th? Well, Elisa Chermak, you will not need your glasses anymore. We might send her to the army headquarters. <laughs> she could lecture about. Uh, Pressure creates counter-pressure. Wasn't that it? Next one. Yela Petrik, age... Over 20. Next one. Kadi Chutnik, age 70. 
Kathy is very beautiful indeed. She should be popular. What a very cool stare, Kathy. Well, our brave German soldiers on the Russian front are used to conquering the cold, I guess. Next one. Francisca, Patrick, 870. Very lovely. Too bad she's a check. Next one. Monica, our buck. It's 20. You like this one? Pardon, Excellency? Next one. Clara, Yannick. Ah, my little friend Clara. Oh, Muller has torn your dress badly. Muller, haven't I told you there's no way to treat ladies? Couldn't he keep Clara here? You can't force me to... You... Well, we'll see, my little one. Doctor, I think you can take care of this group. As you command, Your Excellency. Mira, open the window. It's getting hot and sticky here. Proceed. Step down. Stand over there with the others. Take quiet. No talking. You must have discipline, ladies. And we have finished here. You can talk as much as you please. Open up. Yes, sir. All right, let me think. Come on. Hold on. Don't go in there. We'll be examined as if we were cattle. Then we'll be sent to the Russian front. Hurry, them along. You won't get me in there. You won't get me in there. Come down, I'll shoot. Shoot. See, Miller, another victim of the intellect. Where's Clara? I don't know, Yanni. She wasn't at the university corner. I couldn't see Benish and his sons until nightfall. What did they say? They're going to help me. I knew they would. I've spoken to several of the men's wives, too. You're a brave girl, Emma. But you must be careful. Why are you wearing your rucksack? I may be leaving suddenly. Yes, I understand. Darling, if you have to go, please take me with you. No, darling. I'm not afraid. But I'd be afraid for you. You're safer here. I don't want to be here or, or anywhere without you. Maybe somewhere in the world, sweethearts still walk together hand in hand. But not here, darling. Yeah. Is Barbara? Oh, Yannick. I was on my way up to the quay looking for you, Carol. There's a meeting at Wojak's store. A meeting? Some of the men don't agree with Hank anymore. Since last night, they... 
I'm sorry, Yamila. Oh, that's all right. I don't agree with him either. I thought I knew my people. Come on, Yannick, let's go. Wait, Carol. Watch out for Gestapo. We will. Every one of us has tried to save himself at the expense of his neighbor. It's time we stand together and try to strike back at them. We should have done something a long time ago. Well, you all know what happened last night. Bartnick came home in a coffin. What else did you expect? And that's only part of it. Carol. Ask Yannick. I hurried Heydrich the hangman on the wireless. He closed the university, took away the students. Our youth, all our hope for the future. That's why Clara didn't come home. I went to school when I was young. But they taught us the wrong thing. We need a different kind of schooling now. You can teach us how to rid ourselves of these vermin who are riding our backs. Teach you? All right. But you realize there may be consequences. Well, it's easier to die for a cause than go on suffering. Barbara, have you any dynamite? I have plenty. Father, but maybe it is not enough just to talk. My heart is full of doubts. We must learn to forgive those who know not what they do. Even my own daughter has turned against me. I can't sleep, I can't eat. God is with those who bear their suffering in silence. Peace, thank you. Thank you, Father. children doing here? Having their music lesson. Don't you know the Nazis forbid all lessons? But Father, I'm teaching them our national anthem. Camilla, little pictures had big ears. Go home now, children. Come run, along. Al run along, children. Come back Come. tomorrow. Father, you frightened them. Don't you see what you are doing, daughter? Or has love blinded you? I see more clearly now than I ever did. Mm. It's that Karol Vavra. He stirred up the whole village. I feel it everywhere. A spirit of rebellion, of useless resistance. But our people don't want him. Not the sensible ones. You mean the cowards don't? If they are cowards, then I'm one too. Don't you understand? Our people will be destroyed. Don't you know there's a hangman in Prague only waiting for an excuse to wipe out every living check? Don't let's quarrel, daughter. We must be in a festive mood for the procession tomorrow. 
when Father Simlonic will bless the fields. What for? So they'll raise more wheat to fatten the Nazis? You have a permit for this nonsense? We are merely on our way to bless the field, sir. There is an edict forbidding any public meeting. Don't you read the papers? I have no desire to read them. What is new today is old tomorrow. What literature do you consider worth reading, Father? The Bible, sir. Then you must have learned that it is necessary to render unto Caesar what the Caesars do. I have also learned the first commandment. Thou shalt have no other god before me. And for him we save our prayers. And what do you pray for? Our downfall. We pray for bread and patience. I see. Political theology. This is a sacred procession, sir. It is part of our religion. It has nothing to do with politics. And who are you? My name is Jan Hunter. Who asked you to speak? I was merely trying to explain. Speak when you're spoken to. Quiet, Hunker. Turn the other cheek. So that's what you do, huh? Turn the other cheek. So it is written. Quiet. You can't provoke us. So I can't provoke you. Out of the dust man rises, and to the dust he shall surely return. And when the day comes, you shall be judged less than the dust which covers your boots. So you think I can't provoke you, huh? How is this, my holy sufferer? That sacred cloth. Just less than the dust that covers my boots, huh? Was that it? So I couldn't provoke him, eh? Mother, are they going to shoot us all? Who is responsible for this district? I will find out, sir. Look, Papa, isn't it pretty? Very nice. We should be proud of our sons. Herman, I read yeah. in the paper. What paper? Just a little paper Minna found in the grocery. It said 200,000 Germans were killed on the Russian front last month. Enemy propaganda. Let me see that paper. Minna has it. Minna? I have to make a report. Where is this propaganda paper? Propaganda? Oh, yes. I sent it home to my mother in Germany. How dare you? Pamphlets in the groceries. Do we still trade with Borsche? Yes, of course. Why? Because we haven't paid our bills for two months, Mayor Bauer. All right, all right. Get out of here. It said the Americans were coming over. I remember from the last war. Americans. <laughs> they are soft, spoiled by democracy. We'll mock them up like that. Read Mein Kampf. One day Hitler will take over America and put it in order. 
What is it, Mia? A telegram for you, Mia Bauer, and an officer to see you. Show him in. Come in, please. Heil Hitler. Heil Hitler. How could it possibly happen that the road was blocked by a procession when Reichsprotector Heinrich passed through Lidetze? I didn't issue any permit for a procession. It was necessary to shoot some silly priest who tried to attack the Reichsprotector. You didn't shoot Father Sam Lernick. But, uh, please, uh, One more incident like that in your district. And I wouldn't want to be in your shoes, Mayor Bauer. I don't know what to say. I didn't issue a permit. Let me give you a tip. You better have the roads clear tomorrow morning between five and six. The rice protector will... Well, never mind. I understand. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Hi, Hitler. Hi, Hitler. I will call curfew until eight in the morning. Hi, Hitler. What's in the telegram? What telegram? The one Minna gave you. Oh, I forgot. I put it in, in my pocket. Ah, here it is. Hmm. Those SS men, they are the new aristocracy. Hard, tough, ruthless, but with hearts of gold. What is it, Herman? What happened? Something terrible, Magda. Is it Fritz? Or is it Hans? Tell me, which one is it? Both. Both of them, Magda. Both of them. Magda. It's for our Führer. For our Führer. Our sons. Fritz. Little Hans. Over 20 years we spent making them into men. What for, Herman? When they were little, I'd get out of bed. I'd look to see if they were all right. We sent them to school. We took them to church. I never wanted anything for myself, just for them. They were good boys. <laughs> Deserted is your house, O oh Lord, since your servant was murdered. Give me a sign that there will be an end to our misery. Free us from our oppressors. Give us back our faith that we shall be delivered. Give me a sign, O oh Lord. Amen. Amen. Mr. Hank, I must speak to you. I'm not of your faith. But I thought I might find peace here. My sons were killed on the Russian front. The Lord's house is open to everyone, Mrs. Bauer. Mr. Hunker, I know they killed Father Semlanik. The judgment is God's. There is nothing we can do. There's a car passing through here tomorrow morning between five and six. A car? Heidrich will be in it on his way back to Prague. Heidrich? Hangman. Be careful not to go on the highway in the morning. Medium, rare, or well done? Well done. So you'd better hurry. The fog's coming in, and you ought to be home before nightfall. Doesn't matter. 
So do you move? Yeah, well, uh, I'm leaving in a day or two. It's a long time. A day or two. Father. What's the matter? I've never seen you like this before. Oh, I'm tired, that's all. Ago, I used to sleep up here in this cave, go deer hunting in the morning. I kept my rifles and my bullets over in that corner. Then they took our rifles away. Could I have some brandy? Well, if you don't mind drinking from Nepomuk's bottle. Oh, no. In bad times, the cat and the dog drink out of the same dish. Thank you, dear. <laughs> This ought to be a good one. It is. It's made in America. How fast is this fire? About 300 a minute. You know, when I was young, I thought things were simple. Right or wrong, black or white. And as I grew older, I, I tried to understand the in-between, the shadows. I tried to see the other fellow's point of view. Mm -hmm. I even imagine Nazis might be human beings. This afternoon, I knew I was right at first. Things are simple. They kill you, you kill them. You see things my way now, Hunker. I'm going to kill Heydrich in the morning. Heydrich? Why, you can't get near him. I can. I thought I heard something. There's no one around here. You haven't a chance, Hunter. They drive too fast. But if there was someone on the road to slow them down, someone on a bicycle. Here we are, children. If something happens, I mean, if we were to be caught... No one's going to catch us. I know. But if they did, promise you won't let them take me. I promise. Ready, children? I'll stay here behind the rock, children. Carol, you go over there. I threw it down the gorge. Motors. Have some bread here for your children. Made from the wheat of our own fields. Baked by your mother, young man. Would I see her before we go? No, believe me, it is better this way. Let me tell her quietly by myself. I want you to have this Bible. It was your mother's, Yamila, and her mother's before her. Father. If our good friend Father Samlanik was still alive, he could marry you. Maybe you'll find a priest somewhere on your way. 
or a church left standing some place in the world. Love each other, always. That's all I can say. Thank you, Father Anker. They're here already. Stop. Say goodbye to Mother for me. Carmilla. Tell her we'll be back someday. Yes, dear. Shot on the road. Get me cotton. Some towels. Cotton towels? Hurry up. He's dying. Where's the phone? He's not dead. Huh? He's dying. Can't you hear? Get me a cart and a horse. A horse? I use my horse for plowing. Quick. See that the old man gets the cart, and I'll phone Prague. Something wrong? Very good. All right. What is it? The Reichsprotect has been shot. Heydrich? He isn't expected to live. What does it mean? Is this the beginning of the... I know what's in your mind, Eberhard. I've had the same thought. Maybe Hess was right. Shh. Call a meeting at once, in the big conference room. Something has to be done immediately. There must be reprisals, bloody reprisals. You must stamp out resistance at once. But what can we tell the press? They're waiting for a statement. Shall I tell them that the assassin was a Czech? A Czech? Preposterous. They wouldn't dare. Well, it could have been a British parachutist. No. We'll say it was a Jew. That's always good. Yes? Reichsführer Himmler. Yes, Herr Reichsführer? Yes. Terrible. Horrible. Yes, Herr Reichsführer Himmler. Uh, we'll have the assassin before the day is through. Uh, the Herr Reichsprotector Heidrich as well. That is to say, the doctors hold out every hope. He's being operated on now. I'm afraid his condition uh, is grave. Yes, Herr Reichsführer. Uh, we'll be expecting you. Yes, we'll be delighted to see you. Heil Hitler. Himmler is coming to Prague. He's coming here? We must have the assassin before Himmler arrives. Do something. Take hostages. Hostages from every town and village. Who is the arrest is what I want. Shoot them by the hundreds. Shoot them down, every one of them. But what should we tell the press? Shoot them. To, uh, tell them uh, the Herr Reichsprotector Heidrich had a slight accident. Just a few scratches. He'll be back at his desk in the morning. That's all, gentlemen. Hi, Hitler. Hi, Hitler. Hi, Hitler. I wish you weren't coming at all, Miller. It's a sad task for a good Czech gendarme. Yeah. Good evening, Miller. Good knock. I'm sorry, Jan Hunker. They're forcing us to take hostages. I see. It's just a formality. You'll be released tomorrow. Do you mind if I speak to my wife? We'll wait outside for you. Thank you. Yes, Anna. I'm waiting up for you. It's late. What's the matter, my dear? Nothing. I was thinking about the children. Don't worry, Anna. Get your rest. I have to go out to the barn. You know, one of the cows is coughing. And later, I have an errand in the village. No. Good night, Jan. Go to bed, Anna. I think I'll be back soon. I'll get you some blankets. And here's the evening paper. Thank you very much, Milner. That's very kind. Twelve hours have passed. 
And you still bring me excuses. But, Mayor Bauer... The Reich wants action. I want action. Come in. Within two hours, if you don't bring me the murderers... Uh, uh, one moment, please. Within... Twelve... Uh, within uh, two hours, uh, you may go now. Uh, I'm very busy with this case. Perhaps you would like to have a little brandy while you wait for me. We are leaving for Prague. As I say, this case... You are leaving for Prague? Yeah. And you are coming with us. We'd better hurry. We have two more pickups. And Klein and Kladno. Just a moment. Please. Uh, I will have to speak to my wife. I need my hat and coat. No, you won't. You're under arrest. If my Führer wants me without my hat and coat, I'm ready. I'll go. Take your hands off me. I'm a party man. I'll hit the hard up. You won't kill me. I love my Führer. I'll hit her. I gave him my two sons. Two brave German sons. Yeah. Mama! They are taking me! Mama! Heil Hitler! Heil Hitler! Heil Hitler! Come on, let's sit here. Are you tired? No, I feel fine. Bother us now. What have they done to you? Hurry, darling. Don't stay here. And leave you? Never. I didn't mean to bring you to this. Remember when we were children, we promised we'd always be together? We have been. In our hearts. We always will be. You're crying. No, I'm not. Are you in pain? No, dear. 
Hold my hand. You, you'll be better off alone. I don't need to be in your way. Please don't say that. Carl, someday, tell Mother I meant to say goodbye. Yes, I Carl, where are you? I'm right here. Do something. We are doing everything possible, our protector. Uh, oh, this pain. Well, I'll get morphine. I have you shot. I have you all shot. But her protector. I'm no protector. I didn't protect anybody. Least of all myself. Did they catch the assassin? He's probably one of you. But her... His Excellency, Herr Axfury Hemmler. Hey, Hitler! Will they call through to the Furious headquarters? Yes, sir. Hey, Hitler! Don't bother me with that nonsense. I'm in pain. Nonsense? You don't know what you're saying, Heidrich. I bring you greetings from our beloved Führer. I don't want his greetings. Or yours. I want to live. Did you catch the assassin? Everything possible is being done. Everything possible is being done. That's all I hear. You must strain yourself. Can't you send some doctors from Berlin instead of these horse doctors? You may leave. Hi, Hi. Hi. A soldier dies with courage, Heidrich. A true Nazi, eh? I should like to see how you and your fear would act if you were inside for a shot out. Why can't I get morphine? To live. You are dying for the fear, Heinrich. I don't want to die. I'm not going to die for the fear of anyone else. I want to live. You'll face death from these days to ever. You and your fear. <laughs> All of you will face death. All of you. There's another thing out there. Well, no, sir. They lose. The Russians will win. The Poles, the British, the Czechs, the Americans will win. You'll be the only ones to lose. And why? Why will they win? I tell you. You were too weak. That's it. Every day I had them shoot 30. They should have been 300 in 3,000. Day for day. Three. I should have done away with them all. All of them. All of them. 
kill him if you want to be safe. Every day. All of them. Shoot them. Shoot them. Some people, the protector is dead. Bless him. With all his medals, I order three days' mourning for the country. Church bells at a ring, and. Well, you know what to do. Yes, sir. Himmler speaking. Yes, my Führer. Poor Heidrich. Yes. He just died like a hero, my Führer. Your name was on his lips when death came. His last words, uh, victory will be ours, Heil Hitler. Yes, we should broadcast that. Heil, my Führer. Tell no tales. Are there. Munition works. Then take the other town. Simple enough, isn't it? Wipe it out tomorrow. What day is tomorrow? Sunday, the 10th of June, Your Excellency. The world will remember that 10th of June. They killed Heidrich because he was too weak. They won't say Himmler is too weak. Not after the 10th of June.
What did he say, Mother? Hush. Upon orders of our Fuhrer, the town of Lidice will be razed to the ground. Her name to be eradicated from every signpost, from all maps of the country, and from the memory of all mankind. An atonement for the assassination of His Excellency Reinhard Heydrich, protector of Czechoslovakia. All male inhabitants over 16 years of age will be shot. <laughs> All women interned in concentration camps. All children will be taken from their mothers and placed in correctional institutions. All livestock will be confiscated for use by the German army. Attention! Fire the houses! Load the trucks! The executions will take place in the churchyard! shall live. The Lord have mercy upon us and lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. From the very gates of hell. Come on, get in there. Come on, don't yeah. shove. I know the way. Nip him up. Come on, move along. It's a wall.
graves we call to you, so happy and free. Whether ye live in a village small, or a city with buildings tall, hear us speak, or hear what we say. We are the people of Lidicse. Fed mouths of men once happy as you, as happy as you and as free. Till they entered our country and slaughtered and slew. And then, oh, never forget the day, on the 10th of June in 42, they murdered the people of Lidicse. Dead mouths of men, once happy as you, up through the ashes of Lidicse. Telling you not to get caught, as they all in the morning of a June day were caught and shot and put out of the way. Telling you not to eat a drink, one morsel of food, one swallow of drink, before you think. Before you think what is best for your country, to keep your country free from the foe you hate, catch him, catch him.